is thinking about me. Amen. Because their thoughts cannot do anything to me if I don't allow it. Amen. But if I begin to entertain it, if I begin to say, oh, this is what they're saying, then I'm meditating on it, then that's going to pull me down. Okay? That is why our self-esteem should be from the Word of God. Our self-esteem should be from the Word of God. Why? Because God is our Father. Okay? He owns everything. And we belong to Him. So it doesn't matter what people are saying around. That should be what our, our self-esteem should come from the Word of God. So all through the scriptures, God has always been interested in showing his favor to his people. All right, look at Psalm 8. Psalm 8, the book of Psalm. Twenty fourteen, our year of unprecedented favor in the household of faith Christian saints, God showed himself on our behalf in an unusual ways that has never been heard of. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's our Hallelujah. year. All right, look at verse, uh, look at uh, Psalm 8, verse 1. He said, O Lord our God, our Lord. How excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sockets hast thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Look at verse 3 right now. Is that when I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man? What is man? Let me read that verse 3 again. So when I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, or the work of his hands, right? Because you remember that in the beginning, the Bible says God created the heavens and the earth, right? Mm -hmm. He created everything beautiful, the garden, the animals, everything. At the end of the day, he said, let us make man in our own image, so that they may have dominion over all the works of our hands, over everything. Yeah. That they may have dominion. You know, Creating man, giving him a charge, giving him dominion, giving him authority over all the works of his hand is a great favor. It's a great kindness. It's a great act of kindness. It's a great act of mercy. It's a great act of love towards man. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a great act of love towards man. Yeah. Imagine all of these beautiful planets that God created in the beginning. That he taught Adam. He said, you be in church. He brought all the animals to Adam. He said, whatever you name it is their name. If you call this one this, that's it. Mm -hmm. it's God is telling Adam, he said, boy, you are the one in church. Mm -hmm. That's your dominion. That's your dominion. So name it whatever you want. What is man? Wow. That's a great favor. That's a great honor. Yeah. That God has given man. So God has always been interested in showing his favor on man. Has always been interested in showing his favor on man. Verse 4. He said, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Oh, Lord. When you created everything, how come God says, you know what? Let us make man in our own image. Let them have dominion over the works of our hands. Let them have dominion. 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 That's a great thought. That's a great thought. The same way that God has set to show himself in an unprecedented way in our lives in the year 2014. Please, let us all embrace this word. Let's begin to see it every from today onwards. Okay? Because we are covenant children for every time for every year or every season that is always way that God deals with his people. There's always ways that God deals with his people. You know, like time in a timely fashion wants to show himself, revealing himself to, to his people. You know, 
That's just him. That's just God. Remember that in old covenants, he revealed himself to his people in different ways, in different names. Okay, to Abraham, he revealed himself as Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. And to some, he revealed himself as what? Jehovah Nisi. To Sakeno. So, you know, all, all, all those revelational names of God. That's, him, that's himself. That's himself. He reveals himself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God has said to reveal in his unprecedented acts of favor in our lives in the year 2014. All right, look at verse 4. He said, What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? The guy is just, is just, is just in awe. He's just surprised, greatly surprised. God, why did you so much think about man that you, you are mindful that you place him over all these things? Look at verse 5. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. Now, you see in King James Version, see that word angels in some translations is actually Elohim. You know, sometimes, you remember that the Bible is translated by men, right? In the translation, they find out, oh, how can God make himself a little lower than himself? Make us a little lower than himself? <coughs> Maybe that is not. But in the original Hebrew, it is actually Elohim, which is God. You know? So, I mean, think about it. God created man. He gave him dominion over all the works of his end in this life. So we are what? We are little gods. Understand my word. We are little gods. Why? Because God has created this world. He has given us dominion over this world. Adam lost the dominion, but thank God the Lord Jesus Christ came. He regained the dominion, the authority back to us. Okay? So that is why God cannot, cannot do anything just like that on earth. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the earth he has given to the Son of Man. So God will always walk through his people. You know what I'm saying? Let me say, let me say, like, because God knows that it's just like he knows that he has put man, believers, in church, right? That is why when God wants to do something, he always stir up the heart of man. For instance, God can begin to put a nudge in our hearts to pray for revival. Because God is set to do. You understand? So God cannot just calm down, just begin to, you know, do something as God. Because, no, because he has given us the dominion. So he walked through us. Remember that when Jesus Christ was born, Jesus did not come as God. Okay? He came through man, right? The Bible says he emptied himself of his glory. So he came as a man. So he was anointed to do all of those. Remember in, in Acts 10, 30, it said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Remember that the Lord Jesus Christ, even from the world began, he has been with God. Oh, all right. Let, let, me, let me just, let's just uh, back up a little bit. Because it's, it is good for us to understand this, okay? That God has put us in charge, okay? He expects us to be responsible, right? So when God has said he's going to do something in our lives, because he, he wants a place that he can manifest himself, that he can show himself great. You, 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 you get what I'm saying? All right, look, look at uh, the book of John. The book of John. Jesus came. Before the world, he has been with the Father. Okay, he came to the earth. He emptied himself of all of his glory. We're going to see those two. All right, look at John chapter 1. The book of John chapter 1. 2014 is our year of unprecedented favor. Thank you, Lord. John chapter 1, verse 1. Look at it. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was what? God. Was God. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, mm -hmm. and the Word was God. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. And without him was not anything 
made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Who do you think he's talking about here? He's talking about Jesus. He was with God. He was God. All things were made by him. Okay? So he came. All right? Look at verse 5. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended, comprehended it not. So the word of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. He came, he manifested himself. All right, look, okay, uh, uh, Philippians. Philippians. Philippians chapter 2. From verse 5. God is interested in showing himself great. But he has to do the expression through man. Because that's, the, that's, that's his, his, his creature that he has created. Philippians chapter 2. That's the person that he has created. So that is why God is always calling man to himself. God is always anointing man to take the gospel. Angels cannot preach the gospel. They cannot. They are messengers. They can direct people to where they can hear the gospel. Okay? In the case of Cornelius, in the book of Acts, the guy, he was so good, he gives, better, he gives uh, good gifts, so many things to people and all that. But the Bible says, he's given, came as a remembrance, as a memorial before God. It's like God knows that, okay, you know what? You this guy, you are giving so much good things and all that, but this cannot take you to heaven. It's Jesus that can take you to heaven. Good works are good, but you have to be born again and then do good works. Amen. Hallelujah. So ordinary good works cannot take you to heaven. Mm -hmm. That is why a lot of people that they call that they are multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire, they have projects, charity, and all that. They think that that's going to take them to heaven. No, it's not. There is only one way to the heart of the Father. Mm -hmm. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, "Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved." Yes. There is not a lot of millions. Thank God for those millions, for those lives that are coming. But I believe that it's coming as a memorial before God. And God is, 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 a, is stirring up people to take the gospel to them. So that, you know what? You've been doing all this, but this cannot take you to heaven. No. Amen. What can take you to heaven is accepting my son as your Lord and personal Savior. Yes, hallelujah. So Cornelius, he was doing the same thing. Nothing. God was just thinking, no, oh, man. Oh, this guy is so good. He's giving all these gifts. But God sent, through vision and all that, God sent Peter, okay, to go give him the good news, the gospel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Good works are good. Giving millions and all that are good, but that's not going to take us to heaven. What is going to take us to heaven is the accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, look at verse 5 right now in the Philippians. He said, let this mind be in you. That's verse 5. Let this mind be in you. Which was also in, in who? Christ in Christ Jesus. Look at verse 6. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and take upon himself the form of God. Let's, let's read it in Amplified. Because that's kind of a little bit blind to us there. Praise the Lord. I believe you are getting blessed. Yes. Because God is preparing our hearts. He's preparing us for the year 2014. All right, look at what he's saying right now. In verse 5. In Amplified. I'm going to read it in Amplified. Amplified Bible. It said, let this same attitude and purpose and humble mind be in you. So the word of God is encouraging us to be humble, right? To show you to be humble. Which was also in Christ Jesus. So if the Lord Jesus Christ can humble himself to do something, look at what he's saying right now. He said, let it be your example in humility. That's Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Who although, who although being essentially one with God, who is God himself, okay? And in the form of God, possessing the fullness of the attributes which make God God. Did you hear that? Jesus was God. You remember we read him in John, okay? Who was with God? was God. All, by him all things were created. And the scripture is telling us right now, who be in the form of God. 
Okay, did not think this equal equality with God, which means he didn't say, you know what, I'm God, I can just go into the earth and die for these people. I'm God. After all, I didn't, I didn't put them into that problem. They, they are forefather D. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Praise God. You know, anytime I think about the love of the Lord Jesus Christ for coming to this earth to die for us, Amen. I say, wow, Lord, Amen. forever I will keep praising you. Because he redeemed us, he brought us back legally to be sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father. Okay, look at what it says right now. He said, think this equality with God was a thing to be eagerly grasped or retained, but stripped himself, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, stripped himself of all privileges and rightful dignity so as to assume the guise of a servant, slave, he that in that he became like man and was born human being. Verse 8, and after he had appeared in human form, he abased and humbled himself still further. Okay, and carried his obedience to the extreme <laughs> of death, even the death of the cross. You see that? Amen. Jesus came, but he didn't think that it was God. But he entered all those things, he died for us. Okay, so right from the time, God cannot just come. Like this, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do this. He, he first of all walked through man. Okay, in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, what happened? He, he said, he wouldn't just do anything without telling my, my, my friend Abraham. He had a conversation with Abraham about that. Okay, so Abraham knew what was going on, what's going to happen. Okay, so God always walked through man. Okay, in showing himself strong, in showing himself great, which is the same way. God is going to manifest his glory through us in the year 2014. Yes. Praise the Lord. He is. Why? Because, look, there are people that you want to preach the gospel to. They're not going to listen until they see something. That, man, since this guy has been going to this church, that his life has never been the same. This, since this woman has been going to this church, her life has never remained the same. We just saw something in her, joy, unspeakable, that every now and then is always full of joy. She's always full of joy. Take us to this, your God. So there are some, they won't come to the, to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ until they see. It's just that way. Some of us are a little bit, oh, okay, be ready to receive the gospel, but some, so stop them. They won't, until they see miracles, until they see things begin to happen. Praise the Lord. Praise you know, as I just said, we're going to continue. I mean, we thank God. This place is free for us on the 29th. So on the 29th. So which means we're going to have service next week, Sunday. We're also going to have on the 29th. Okay? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise thank you, Father. We'll, we'll continue. With Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your name, Lord Jesus. Let's just rise up and thank you for his word tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, 